Sally, Sally, look, Sally, would, would you listen to me for a moment, please, Sally? Sally, I just want to speak. Sally, Sally, <laughs> Sally, look, Sally. You uh, selfish pig, get out! <laughs> Go on, there's a vase. I tell you what, why don't you throw that at me as well, eh? You silly woman, I gave you that! Well, you got it back, haven't oh, you? Oh, come on, Sally. Look, look, I told you, I'll tell him about it all. <laughs> it's self, self, self with you all the time, isn't it? That's right. Oh, come on, Sally. Look, will you listen to me, please? I am listening. You're not listening. You're packing, aren't you? All right, I'm not listening. Oh, that is it. I'm going out. That, I'm going out. Sally, Sally, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you admit it. Now, come on, you're not usually this stupid, are you? Stupid? Oh, now we're getting it. Look, I told you on Tuesday, either he goes or I do. And I said if he wasn't out by Tuesday, I'd be off. And I am. Well, look, he's not staying with us forever, you know. It only seems like oh, it. Oh, come on, Sally, we don't even use that room, do we? Well, all right, but he uses the kitchen and the bathroom. And my flannel's been moved. Well, he never rinses a bath out. He's got filthy razor blades wrapped in filthy paper and he could at least get his own toothpaste. Yes, yes, all, all right. Now, come on, it's all so petty. Now, come on, what else is there, Sally? You I... should know. How should I know? You've never even told me! You've never even told me! <laughs> well, if you don't know, I'm not going to tell now, Sally, you. Sally, come here, come here, put the case down. You're going to sit over there. I won't You're going sit, to sit down. down no! There. You're going to sit! Thank you very much. Now, come on, what else is there? All right. For the last two weeks, you've spent all the time in the evenings with him, chatting with Ronnie, going to the pub with Ronnie. I'm just something that sits in the corner and knits. Well, not anymore. God, is that all, Sally? Now, come on, that's nothing. I can soon change that. No, that is not all. There's something even worse. What? His mother. Oh. Well, she's always coming round, clean underpants, bit of dust in the mantelpiece. Oh, that's not the way I do my vegetables. When was the last time you had this carpet clean? But the last straw was that remark about my bra. Sally, you don't even wear one. Exactly. She said I ought to wear something that gave me more uplift. Oh, I was just, uh, I'm just going to... Sally, look, I think you're beautiful just the way you are. Well, she's never coming here again. All right, all right. I have been thinking. Two is company, three is the other thing. Now, you won't be seeing my mother again, and I also will, in fact, be moving. Three in a flat that is, after all, not all that large. We're bound to get on one another's nerves. So I shall be finding alternative accommodation in Bramley, apartments, rooms, chambers, or something of that sort. In the meantime, I shall be staying in a hotel pro tem. Thank you very much for all you have done in the past. Brush. Brush. Good evening. All that needed was a violin. Oh, you silly bitch. Look what you've made him down. Just because he used your flannel. Do you know something? For the first time in my life, I'm seeing the real you. And shall I tell you something, Sally? You're not only selfish, you are cruel. Oh, miss him already, do you? Well, I hope the two of you will be very happy. You'll make a lovely couple. Oh, you see, I was right. You do care more about him than you do about me. Yes, at this very moment, I do. Yes, because at least he doesn't throw vases at me, kicks me in the shins. I mean, look, look, I'm an ass of bruises. Look! Well, there won't be any more of that. I can promise you. Oh, look, Sally. Sally, come back. Look, listen. Good Sa evening. Oh, Sally! Oh, cool. Okay. Now, look, Keith, forget it. Forget it. Stop worrying about it. She's bound to come back. Even if she doesn't come back, no point worrying about it. Right? Yeah. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy your liberty. Nip out and have a few drinks. That's yeah, right. I think I will. Are you coming? No, no, I'm not coming. You know, I've got a bit of quiet reading to catch up on at home here. Just staying in, having a nice little quiet read. Well, what are you all dressed up for, then? What? Huh? I'm not dressed. I've just got this new shirt on because I'm not going out, you know. Sort of breaking it in. It was a bit stiff in the arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think I'll stay in as well. Just have a little read. You'd be read. stupid yourself to stay in, have a little read. <laughs> Naughty. Want to go out, enjoy a bit of company. That's what you want to do. Do you good? Now, I'll pop out later and I'll probably run into you having a little. You're stuff. right. You're... Yes. <laughs> you know, it's so ridiculous, though, Ronnie. You know, I mean, I, I love her. I know you love her, and it is ridiculous. But, I mean, I know what you're feeling. I mean, you know what I'm going through? I know what you're going through. I've been through it myself, mate. The yeah. moping, the worrying, the getting concerned. I mean, it's not what you're worried about. I mean, a girl once got me in the most terrible state. Yeah. Oh, what a state she got me into. Until I just finally, well, I had to end it. What, you mean you committed suicide? Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I understood what was causing it, you see. It was the place, the room. Everything in it reminded me of her. Yeah. So I took my friend's advice, changed the environment, went out and had a few jars with a... Pals, a bit of a laugh. Forgot all about it. That's what I do, mate. That's what I did do. You're right. I'll go out and have a couple of jars with the lads. Forget about the whole thing. Yes. Now, don't you hurry back. All right. I'll see you later. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Ronnie. Yeah. Thanks, mate.
Don't mench, mate. Don't mench. <laughs> and so we see all of us. Oven cleaner. Oh. <laughs> It's a bit clinical, smells like an outpatient when the oven's being cleaned. <laughs> ah, this is what I after. Fist. Masculine freshness that women love. Little bit under the arms. <laughs> ah, see what the punch is like at the moment. <laughs> oh, still a bit cold. Off, give it to me and I'll do it. No, they don't. They don't work in this room. Huh? Uh, except that one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well, uh, I'll. Uh... Oh, that looks interesting. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry too, honestly. I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's all right by me if Ronnie stays, just so long as his mother doesn't come round so much. Yeah, I'll tell him, because she's not going to set foot in this flat again, because nobody's going to insult my little cells. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Look a bit more on your side, dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. Over a bit. Oh, is, is, that, is that better? Yeah, it's better now. I can get at it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What is going on? I don't know, but it's given me an idea. Come oh. here. <laughs> oh, I've missed you so oh. much, so much. Oh. Is this the living room? Oh, oh, oh! Nearly finished, nearly finished. Oh, there, that's it. Oh, oh no, 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 just a minute. There's a bit more. Hang on. The car. <laughs> Can't be here anymore. Oh, 
Sarah again, wasn't it? I don't think she'll be popping in so much in the future. No, well, I shall be moving out tomorrow, so it won't make much difference. Well, look, I'm sorry about the other night, Ronnie. My real objection's just gone out of the door. Yeah, you see, she must have seen us on the sofa. We were the little trailer. You were the big film. <laughs> <laughs> I can explain everything. Oh, really? It must have seemed very odd. You see, Ronnie had glass in his... In the light bulb. <laughs> and, and, and all crushed in heaven. <laughs> oh, sorry, no, introductions. This is uh, Laura. This is Sally. Hello. And that is all oh, my good. <laughs> That's Keith. Laura. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, shall we have a drink? Oh my good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I'll do it for you. Yes, okay. I think you better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all's well that ends well, eh? <laughs> oh my good. Admit it, dear, you were wrong. You've been going on the last two weeks how we won't be able to take this and we won't be able to take that. We'll never get it all in. <laughs> Here we are, ready to set out on time. All we need. Yes, dear. Next stop, Cornwall. <laughs> I'm worried about the roof rack. It's all right. Those rubber octopus things hold everything on all right. That's what they're there for. We should have used the rope. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'll get the rope. break fixed here. <laughs> Give the money back that you gave us for putting up the tent. Run along, Sally. <laughs> Can we keep it? Yes, run along. Come on, run along. What are you doing? <laughs> Just uh, talking to the kids. He gave us three pounds, miss. <laughs> what for? I did not. I didn't. <laughs> Come on, let's see if anyone else wants their tent put up. Come on. 